finally going to get ourselves a new fish for the nano tank. It is not a rare fish, it is not an expensive fish, but I've had real trouble trying to get hold of this fish over the past two or three months. I finally, finally found a place um, about 35, 40 minutes, 40 minutes north of where I live. Uh, so we're heading over there now, we're going to go pick up the fish. It's a little tail spot blenny, you'll know from the thumbnail anyway. Um, so it's a little tail spot blenny. Uh, we'll head over there now, we'll uh, pick the fish up, take it home and uh, get it in the little nano tank. All right, so I've just picked this little guy up. I'm not sure if you're really gonna be able to see him, but he's in the bag. Um, I didn't want to film too much in the shop because it's not my regular shop that I go to, and it's actually really, really hot today. So I don't want him in the car too long. So I'm literally just gonna go straight home. We'll get him, um, get him acclimated in my 250 sump, and then we'll get him in the tank. Let's go. All right, so I have just got home with this little guy. I'm actually going to put him in the 250 sump uh, just because it's got more room and I keep both of my tanks at the same temperature anyway. Uh, so I'm literally just going to pop him back there for 35, maybe 40 minutes. I'll test the temperature of the water and also the salinity of the water as well and then we'll get him acclimated. Um, you can probably, you may be able to hear the fans actually. Because, uh, like I say, it's really, really hot in, um, in the UK today. Hence, both of the fans are going. And that is why I didn't really want to um, do much video in the car when I had the fish in the car. Um, because I didn't want him overheating. Let's have a little look at this tank. Well, actually, I may have just shown you a little future project that I've got going on. A uh, 10 gallon reef bowl. So, uh, so yeah, that's a little project that I've got going on at the minute. Uh, you guys won't see this until it's got um, water in there and everything sorted out, but that's uh, a little project that I've got going on. Uh, one thing I want to say actually is thank you to everybody who commented on my two year update. I have been listening to what you're saying and all comments taken on board. I will slow my camera work down, no more zooming in and out, zooming in and out. And also I will try and slow down on my audio as well. Um, so yeah, whilst that guy is acclimating, I might as well show you around the little nano tank. To be honest, not much is happening with this tank at the moment, but I am probably going to do an update maybe two or three weeks time. Right, so this little guy has been acclimating in the sump for the best part of an hour now. Let me try and focus on him. There he is. So he's been, he's temperature acclimated and I've also acclimated him to the salinity of my tank. I'm going to pop you on the tripod and we'll get him in this little tank. I've got clean hands, I've just washed them and I'm going to do this very quickly. I don't have a net to hand. Right, we've got him. Straight in he goes. Clowns are checking him out. Here he is down here. He looks pretty stressed out, I'm not gonna lie. So, I'm gonna put the net on and I'm just gonna leave him to chill out for a few hours before I take any more video of him. So it's been a full week since I've added this guy to the tank and he is doing great. Um, this is where he likes to call home. This is pretty much where I put him in the tank, he swam along the bottom, ended up at this space and he hasn't left there since. Uh, so I assume this is where he's going to live from now on. Um, when I first put him in there, he literally didn't move from that spot for like, I don't know, 24, 24 hours. Uh, and I was a little bit concerned because he wasn't really eating that much. I tried feeding pellets, he wasn't having any pellets. I tried mysis, he was eating a little bit of mysis, but these guys are herbivores anyway. Um, so he chomped on a little bit of mysis, but, um, but didn't really eat that, that much the, uh, the first day day and a half. Um, it wasn't until the next evening where I, I put some algae, algae pellets in there and he absolutely munched them down. He started, um, finally came out of his little man cave down here, um, scouted along the sand bed, uh, grabbed some food, took it back, ate it there. I think 
Part of the reason is he was in the holding tank with two Antius and those guys like to eat like crazy. Um, so he's pretty underweight when he first come in this tank. Um, he's finally putting on a little bit of weight now and he's, um, he's, he's finally starting to come out of his shell, which is great because I've, um, I've got a Blenny in my 250. Anyone who's owned Blennies knows these guys are absolutely full of character. That's why I wanted to add one to this tank. Um, so, so yeah, he's finally coming out of his shell and he's, um, he's really starting to show his character, which is, uh, which is great. This is the main reason why I wanted to add, add him to, uh, to this system. Uh, this guy actually needs a name. And I'm going to leave it down to you guys to, um, to come up with a name. If you've got any suggestions, drop it down in the comments below. And what we'll probably do is, I don't know if we'll do most likes or just the one that I like the most. Um, and we'll, uh, we'll name this guy next time I do a tank update. I'll let you know which one I've picked. Oh, actually, what, what I'll probably do actually is, if you don't want to put a name, if you don't want to comment on the, on, the, on the video, that's fine. But if you scroll down and you see a name that you like, Drop it a like and uh, we'll probably do it that way. The one with the most likes, um, we'll name him. Um, so yeah, he's, he's finally coming out of his shell. He's finally starting to show his character and he's finally starting to put some weight on, which is great. Um, he is such a funny little fish, to be fair. As I say, anyone who's, who's owned one of these fish uh, knows how funny Blennies are. Um, clowns are fine with him, absolutely fine. No aggression whatsoever. Uh, these guys are pretty peaceful, to be fair to them. Except when I put my hand in the tank and they do like to nibble on my hand, uh, but that's just me. Um, so yeah, we'll probably just leave it there guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you have, please do drop it a like. And um, if you haven't already, please do subscribe to the channel. And I shall catch you next week.